Yo, we are so back. We finally got the new update for Wuthering Waves. We got my man here, Zheng Li Yao. I am, not gonna lie, um, <laughs> uh, a little bit crazy when it comes to him. I'm not gonna lie. I have really been trying my best to build him on the VOD channel. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get back into the main story. Because finally, Shorekeeper is here, so we're gonna get back into it today also if you like my glasses that i'm wearing shout out firmu they sent me these glasses you can check the video out soon i believe i don't think it's up when i'm gonna post this video on my glitter m channel and i'll put the codes down below here too if you guys want to check out firmu and get you guys some glasses you know use my code whatnot anyway let's go over here oh the new character girl i didn't even see her she's so small oh, wow look who i bumped into the midnight ranger I like her voice. She's very cheeky. Ah, Rover, you're finally here. Okay, she's so cute. Rover, huh? Oh, I love her. To make your acquaintance. I love these eyebrows. Oh my god. I haven't really got to see this character up close. Because like I said um, in previous videos, Hurricane. So I haven't got to see like all the character teams and releases. She's got like a snowflake stamp. Has it marks down here. Her eyebrows are so adorable. This is Yuhu from Jinzhou. Yuhu. Like Mr. Chenpi, she's an expert in antiques. Oh my god, she's so cute. That's me. What brings an antiques expert here? To uncover clues about hidden antiques, of course. Since Mount Firmament reopened, Master and I noticed artifacts from Master. popping up in the market. Aside from Court of Savante gadgets. There are still plenty of mystery items that don't exactly scream Mount Firmament, you know? So? So? <laughs> so I'm betting they're from the port city of Guishu. Oh, she is so cheeky. I'm gonna have to try to pull for her. I like her so much. I love this kind of like cheeky little smile. And these eyebrows are just like so cool to me. I received a message from Yang Yang. Yes. I remember you mentioned wanting to learn more about your past ties to the Black Shores. Cool. Okay, so I'm I'm going to assume that this arc is about the Black Shores considering we have the main character Shorekeeper right now on the, the banner. The battle in Norfolk Barrens is over and the Black Shores should be withdrawing. But they've asked the Midnight Rangers to monitor the area around the port city of Guishu. I thought this might be your chance to gather more information about them. I'm touched you remember what I said. Oh, look at her face. Huh? You, uh, brought it up before. So embarrassed. Oh my gosh, so cheeky, she knows. Aw, oh, Yang Yang's got a soft spot for you, huh? Are you her special someone? I mean, maybe. <laughs> Oh, she's so oh, embarrassed. I, I just know it means a lot to you. I'm here for the ship, by the way. I'm really here for this. Relax, I'm just teasing. So, you're tracking the Black Shores too. I still have this black lake bloom that Alto gave me. This should lead me to them, right? Since we're on the same trail, how about teaming up? Let this master be your guide. You and me, dream team. Nothing's gonna slow us down. That's a little dramatic, to say the least. Not to boast, but epic adventures tend to have a way of finding me. Since Rover's here, let's talk to that bloom bearer first. Here? Which one? Alto? You mentioned him. Meet with Yang Yang. Black Shores Researcher. Okay, uh, you want me to just like hop down here? Also, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, I've been really loving this guy. Oh! We got the girl to check out. Okay, let me get a little like outfit to her real quick. Her hair is so, so cute. I love these kind of like flower, like almost wrapped around buns. She's just so cute. I really like this character. She's really cute. Oh, she can heal. All eyes on me. Go get okay, I like that. I like it. 
Hello, Black Shores member. That's weird. These parameters are correct, but nothing's happening. What's going on? Are you a bloom bearer from the Black Shores? Yes. Need something? I see it. Oh, so you're the one Alto invited earlier. The one and only. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't recognize you. Golden pupils and this Blake Bloom. Yeah, it's you, all right. I'm Nia, a bloom bearer from the Black Shores. Didn't expect to meet someone as important as you under these circumstances. This outfit is very, like, in belly on. You know what I mean? You know, it's kind of spacey, robot mecha theme. I know it's unusual, but could you help me out now that we're working together? Hold on, I haven't decided if, uh, if I want to join the Black Shores. Really? But Uncle mentions you'll be joining soon. Can you explain what's going on first? Actually, we're monitoring abnormal parameters and detected a problematic frequency that needs to be taken back to the Black Shores. The port city of Guishu was decimated by the lament. If this frequency goes unchecked, it could trigger another catastrophe. Are the stakes really that high? Yes. That's why the Tether system sent us to locate and recover this frequency as soon as possible to prevent a potential disaster. Our agents relayed the coordinates, but since then I've lost contact with them, which doesn't sit well. I'm stuck here monitoring. Can't leave my post. Do you think you could help check out what happened? If things aren't looking good, we might need to inform Jinjo City Hall, like we did before. They will need to act fast then. That's the worst case scenario. If we contain the frequencies that Tether's system advises, nothing bad will happen. I want to help her, as an outrider. It's my duty to safeguard the peace. You're right. We can't just sit out on this. Thank you. Oh, it's reassuring to have a Midnight Ranger with us. I'll send you the coordinates of the abnormal frequency. By the way, what do you mean by abnormal frequency? Could be the reverberations or something in the sonora spheres. In Solaris, frequencies can be anything. One thing's for sure, though. This frequency represents gravity. It's abnormal because it has its own gravitational center. You should be able to feel a palpable anomaly near it. That's how you can locate it. I trust you'll handle it smoothly, but remember, your safety matters most. Don't hesitate to retreat if you run into any real danger. And once you're back, we'll hurry to the Black Shores to upload it to the Tether system. Oh, I forgot you haven't been to the Black Shores, have you? Not yet, at least. No worries. I'll be your guide then. Okay, I forgot to check out new areas. I assume we have new areas. On the map somewhere? Black Shoals? Have that? Oh, here it is. Right next to my firmament. Okay, okay, I see you. I'm excited for that. I love seeing the new areas in this game. I'm not gonna lie though, um, I really loved Mount Firmament. I love the snowy mountains, you know, reminds me of my own area because <laughs> I live very high up in the mountains of Western North Carolina. So yeah, obviously there's higher mountains, especially on the west, west side. Like, you know what, let me be. <laughs> They're high over here. <laughs> I live higher up than most people do, so <laughs> let me be. Let me be. Anyway. I sense the presence oh. of tacit discords below. Can't see anything. What's the big deal? Just some pawns. I won't even break a sweat. Something feels different about them. Oh. Be careful. Wonder if we're ever gonna get more gliders. Cool. Okay, I was playing with her so far. The building collapse, they're all trapped. It's completely jammed. Oh, they're talking. I didn't hear. There's my little, little guy. He are. Um, are you dead? Um, where else do you want me to go? Uh, you can go back up? I'm a little bit confused on where you're asking me to go. You made me jump down, now you want me to go back up? These little flamey looking things. Oh. People. Uh oh. 
This doesn't feel like it's a good thing. There's a Black Shells members. Look for survivors, quick! What happened? Are they actually dead? It's too late. So they're the agents Neil was waiting for. What killed them? They're all what red and glowy. Happened here. Oh. Has she been possessed? This is my name. I once lived under it as a bloom bearer. Is this your doing with the bloom bearers? them run run what you seek is on the girl she has it Ugh. what does any of this have to do with me where oh. did it go no wait don't go over there he claimed it was the gravina gravitational center we're looking for it must be the abnormal frequency the black shores want recovered the remaining frequency there is an extreme chaos it's dangerous. Hold on! Hey, what's happening? It's starting to glow! Must be from the Black Shores! Look at this! Looking. Mysterious object pulses with rhythmic... Rig, oh, rhythmic? <laughs> speak? Light? Seemingly harboring some sort of frequency. I need to learn more about this thing. My master and I guessed it's from the Black Shores, and now it looks like we were right. The abnormal frequency definitely links to the deaths of those bloom bearers. Now it's hiding in this object, but I can still feel its strong attachment to the Black Shores. Solving this issue is beyond our capabilities. Besides, they also mentioned Rover and the fall of the port city of Guishu. We should meet with that bloom bearer first and explain the situation. This is best left to the experts. You're right. We need to keep informed. Let's go. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, I sense yeah. there's more to They're this dead. than meets the eye. Port City of Guishu must hold secrets waiting to be discovered. You know what? To be fair, I think anytime there's dead bodies, I think, you know, yeah, it does seem like a bad feeling. Just seem ominous. As the group moves forward, Yang Yang informs the Midnight Ranger about the situation, I'm assuming. I can't read that because they like to go too fast. And I can't read that fast. Anomaly under the bridge. Ooh, cutscene. 
Butterfly. Uh-oh. She grabbed Yang Yang. Thanks. Oh. Huh? Up there! Oh! Big TDs. There she is. Oh my god, she's so pretty. Welcome home. Home? I didn't know I had a home here. You mean welcome home? I remember being home. <laughs> oh, why am I knocked out? I feel like Rover's always waking up in places. Put us in a trance the or an illusion. Traveler. At last, you have returned. Here, the story both ends and begins anew. I am pleased to Your see shoes. you back on these shores. Wherever you venture, be it Huang Long or Rinasita, I will always be here. Never heard waiting. that name before. No matter how far you wander. You will always find me here, on these black shores. Huh? We know we we know each other. Huh? Weird. So she definitely knows us, though. Oh. Did she actually take us to the Black Shores? Oh, she did! Yo, that's pretty cool! Okay. So this is the Black Shores. I mean... See that? They got the butterflies. They got the blue. Got some black waves. Honestly, I kind of like this area. It's very, like, blue and illuminated. Oh, hello. I shall lead the way. Yeah, don't mind me. Don't, don't, don't bother. Don't, don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna take a walk. See here. Uh, can I get this? I will take that. I do need some stuff so I can get shorekeeper because um, I really don't care. Oh, I didn't do that right. It's been a little bit of a while since I played this game. I feel like I'm a little rusty with the controls. Let's see. God, these look like pumpkins. <laughs> I doubt it, though. I doubt they're pumpkins. Uh, oh, Abby! Uh, finally out of the cave! Uh, but why is the fog still so thick? I can't even see you! Because you're at Veiled Rock. Alto? Your vision is veiled. Now, how about explaining what brings you here, uninvited guests? See? I think it's Alto's. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> huh? Is it, is it really you? Oh my god. No, no. Don't let this be a dream. <laughs> At last, you've come to me. To the Black Shores. Wait, what? This is the Black Shores? Precisely. Oh. Wow. Got like a little amphitheater. Okay. Oh, I'm interested in that. Like, like, it's like a little greenhouse or something area. It's very pretty. But how did you manage to get here? To Alto, the events that led to your arrival here. I see. The situation doesn't look good. That Hoda might not be one of us. But I'm curious. Could I have a look at that item the antique dealer gave you? Yeah, what happened to Yang Yang and, uh, Yuhu? And the antique Yuhu gave you over to Alto. Huh. Didn't expect to see it outside Mount Ferdinand. You know what this is? A monitoring register. We Black Shores members place these around the world to keep an eye on the Sentinels. If anything happens to them, we'll know immediately. Oh. Hmm. So there's Looks more like sentinels. Also used to record abnormal frequencies in the port city of Guishu. Okay, to be fair, this quest is already giving us a lot more information about this world. Doorkeeper said, I forgot the name, there's another name to visit besides Hulong. And 
he just said that there's more sentinels, so maybe that's, you know, foreshadowing that we're gonna have to go from place to place, kind of like in Genshin, nation to nation, maybe? And why was I teleported here? Maybe the Tethys system has a soft spot for you. But, without more details, I can't say for sure. Since your arrival, has anything unusual caught your eye? Also about the person you met at the beach. A person in light blue. Huh. Could it be the shorekeeper? Or keeper? Yes. The elusive guardian of the Ooh. Black Shores. Who is said to be always watching our true leader. Shielding us from danger. It seems you've had quite the encounter. In times of great adversity, the shorekeeper will reveal herself and support our true leader, who, at the destined moment, will arise to save and guide the Black Shores. Fantastical or not, that's all we've got to go on. So are we the true leader? Hmm. There must be a reason she went to such lengths for you. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway, let's not get carried away. We should head to the greenhouse. The abnormal frequency you collected needs to be uploaded to the Tetha system as soon as possible. In order to avoid another lament in the port city of Guishu. Given that we've already lost enough of our own to it, we need more bloom bearers to handle this. As for the information you're after, <sighs> it's already spread this far. Seems like the Tethys malfunction is getting worse. We need to hurry. Time is one luxury we do not have. Let's save the rest for the road. The shores in. Okay, so this seems to be Act 1. So, I think that this is a pretty good place to end this episode. Not too long, not too short. There has been a lot of lore dumping, new characters lore dumping in this episode. I'm really excited. I feel like this is going to be a really fun arc of the story. I want to know more about Shorekeeper. I want to know more about the Black Shores. Yeah, Hoping we'll get to see Encore soon point. too as well, because she's still one of my faves. Honor. As we um, we can see, still one of my faves. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Once again, check out my code down below in the description down below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!